the <laughs> out of this see if I'm live see if we can at least do part of this now yeah it's, it's fine all right what happened to this, <laughs> the stream crashed around what happened uh apparently my internet went out for like just a minute or so which managed to crash the stream <laughs> and I couldn't reconnect so that kind of sucks I'm trying to hop out of this so people can join back though and kind of make sure everything's still sort of working the right way. Okay. Yeah, well, maybe I should probably get a mission going. Eh, let's try this one. See if it'll let me actually host public. Let's see if it just kicks me out again. <laughs> Yeah, the thing that sucks about that though is whenever it does that, it kills off like the, um, what's it called, like the VOD afterwards too. I would hop back in, but I gotta head to work soon. I understand though, but yeah. And the worst thing about this though is since I said I needed footage, I was like, oh, I haven't been recording, but that's fine. I can just rip the VOD afterwards and just use that. And now I can't. <laughs> so that's a little bit inconvenient. Welcome back, Ron. Thanks, Labyrinth. Uh, the six overclocks, three cosmetics a week is quite painful to wait for. Uh, it kind of can be, Auntie. You can potentially get more if you make all those, though, because every five you'll get another either weapon or cosmetic overclock. I got called in because I was on call today. Ah, okay. Understand. All right. Well, we do have open lobbies. Has five. We're doing an escort. And see if we can at least get this footage and footage of the last build that I have planned to for a strong gunner build. I probably have uh, footage for the other one, so I can probably dig that up somewhere. Not sure about these though. <laughs> For potentially only three hours because somebody called and said that they were going to be three hours late. <laughs> oh, okay. Guess they were going out of town then. True, 11 to 12 per week. Still similar, still similarly painful though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you can always play around with the overclocks that you do get though. Because there's a lot of really good ones. At least when you're starting out and trying to get good overclocks and cosmetics. Well, there's a lot of really good ones, though. I can't hop in the lobby. Connection just failed. Huh. It's probably something up with my Steam. Let me try to hop out and relaunch Deep Rock. Because it does this sometimes when I get disconnected. So, try to hop back in. Hmm. Hey, Mr. Sigma, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Okay. <laughs> when Deep Rock decides that it wants to cooperate. <laughs> I'll hop in if there's space. All right, yeah, feel free to. Anybody can. These are open lobbies for everyone. Another die. Another die. And right, hopefully that kind of helps. Yeah, it seems like it. Game doesn't want to do an escort? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Five Magnite, pay money. I don't know if I need Magnite. I feel like I might have enough of that. <laughs> Hello again. Hey! Let's 
rock and stone. All right. For rock and stone. Let's do this then. We're still running our um, little more oomph and magic bullets build. Yeah, it's the dark more guy. Come on, boys, we're leaving. Everybody ready? Not for me, I need some magnite to promote my scout. <laughs> ready to leave. That is an option, assuming it's the same deal for you. Engineer is Ninja here, exactly. What happened? Uh, my computer, well, my internet connection went out for like two minutes, which was enough to kill off the stream <laughs> and to where I couldn't reconnect. Uh, it happens sometimes, unfortunately. to an escort in the sandblast caverns. Bulu capsules are secondary. That's not bad. Hola Rod, how's your stream been? Uh, it was going pretty good, Jeff. And then uh, it kind of died, so we restarted it. And originally I was planning on just taking the footage from the stream and just ripping it from YouTube, making it, or using it as background footage for a video, but I really can't do that now since the stream probably died and I'm not going to get that footage. So I need to get potentially more footage or dig up some footage that I got just kind of laying around. Which doesn't sound too bad. Especially considering, like, I don't really need the storage space right now since I'm probably just going to wipe everything once we... or tomorrow once I get the rest of my PC set up and make the new PC. go and eh, I don't really like the pre drill but there is just kind of another cavern here up. try to get grabbed by a leech No was in the party. Well, she was here. But she's on call today, so <laughs> just stream some more gutter later. Yeah. Well, I have killing floor planned later, so I'll probably be able to get footage for at least this build and this uh, last build. And then I'm sure I can look up some like I'm pretty sure I've got something for um like neurotoxin and whatever the other ones were. Feed mechanism and stuff. And if not, I'll make do with some other footage that <laughs> I probably have laying around. Oh, oh. <laughs> Should we expect that live stream for you? Uh, should we expect that live stream for you upgrading your PC? Uh, I might live stream it tomorrow. I don't know. The thing is, though, is like I'd have to push this computer back, or at least this monitor back, so I could have enough room here on the desk to actually build it. 
Um, or put together some sort of like temporary shelf over here for the webcam or something like that. Or just put it like up above looking down. I don't know. I, I might be able to come up with something. At the very least, I'll definitely record it because it's going to be pretty much like a whole new PC. The only thing I'm going to be taking out of this one is going to be like the hard drives. And let's go. Because I got about half of the computer tomorrow, or I got half the computer yesterday and I'm going to get the other half tomorrow. The other day I got like the, uh, I have just sat down over here. I got the RAM, I got the motherboard, and I got the power supply. The power supply is ridiculous. It came in this. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. There we go. Would it be possible to build a second desk? To put it, I could put a second desk. I don't know if I really could because realistically, I still got the, the green screen right here. The green screen has to be so close to the camera to actually be like picking it up, or I have to extend it up higher, which just takes up more room. Um, and then I've got like my bed right behind that, so I can only push like everything back so far. <laughs> To just making copy of your DRG profile if you plan on switching over. I've had a couple of problems regarding save states between PCs. Really? Well, it should be on the same uh, Steam profile. Because I plan on using like the same Steam profile and everything. I'm cold, IRL. Okay. Put on a warm sweater. Or some toasty socks or something. Yes, a thirty. <laughs> Which streaming software do you use? I use Streamlabs OBS. That way, I can have that open and regular OBS open if I want to be recording while I'm streaming. We might be able just to ignore the prospector though. I hope I don't hit it by accident with like magic bullets or something. I don't think I can pet you. No. <laughs> uh, in the way. I don't have any ammo. That's right. I used it all up there. Gauge one ready, lads. So, never. <laughs> Can I climb on top of you and fly around? Oh, 
destroy the prospector. We got a prospector. Let's go. Just leave it alone, yeah. Then hopefully we don't hit it on the way. Hmm. Hold on, I got buzzing socks with uh, my favorite sports teams on them. Hold those on, yeah. Exactly. Hold the back run. Tough one has a five, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I usually prefer to ignore the prospector, yeah. <laughs> Prospector uh, feels so easy until you face it on Has 5. Yeah, well, the Prospector itself is not bad. It's just the... the robots that it spawns. that one of my bullets is gonna randomly fly out and hit the prospector. Oh, I dodged it by accident. Prospector. <laughs> well, why not? We can pet so many other things. <laughs> Stupid Prospector. Look who's here. <laughs> Look who came crawling back. Stalker. <laughs> now Donnie's still technically drilling. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. 
Okay. Yeah, I ain't sense though. More bugs inbound. It's my body inbound as well. Now I gotta switch better resupply. <laughs> Never seen it coming. Oh, we're rich? Oh, bitter jam. Alright. Certified we're rich moment. Yep, we're rich. I just want to be pelted like a... <laughs> what? Okay. Don't know if I got any extra context to that or not earlier. Sand shark from the ceiling. Okay. Yeah, I didn't notice, but I think the rocks count for killing things in terms of like a cooldown. Or cold as, or, yeah, cold as the grave. Could be wrong about that, though. Thought he really did, didn't it?
Yo, <laughs> that jerk's back. <laughs> uh, Ron, are all your five loadouts fully customized, or do you just edit loadouts as needed? Um, I usually just edit them as needed. I usually only go with like one loadout because I switch up my builds pretty often. I also am usually taking like viewer submissions as well, so if anybody wants to suggest a loadout, they can. This time I'm doing like. Five strong gunner builds, which it would have been smarter if I had done that beforehand. Like set them all up for my five slots. I didn't do that. I wasn't thinking of that. Luckily, it came in at just the right time. I'm taking some of the Feeling much better now. Oh, somebody else got to it. Thanks, Nova. Appreciate that. I was like, why does it say unhide? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Grab this while I can. Yeah, I'm glad you're back. Yes, happy to be back. <laughs> My internet went out for a little bit. Minigun or autocannon? Depends what you want. Uh, both are really good. Minigun has longer effective range. It's better at picking off things. It's better hit for hitting weak spots. So you can do a little bit more damage per second. I found Dottie's head. Who tried to abandon Dottie? <laughs> yeah. But then auto cannon is generally better against like crowds of small things. And it can still be pretty good at close range to be dealing damage with high targets. It also depends on if you have overclocks or not. Both the minigun and the uh, auto cannon have some really good overclocks. The auto cannon has nothing but good overclocks. <laughs> like when I did the quote unquote worst overclock for it, I said the one that just gives you extra ammo and a faster reload speed because the reload speed isn't really necessary and the extra ammo isn't entirely necessary either, but it's a nice addition. <laughs> it's like that's the most negative thing I could say about one of the. <laughs> Auto cannons overclogs. Shark. There we go. <laughs> there we 
again. Let's go. Do you think about it, the prospect is just a giant robotic loot bug playing and summoning murder bots? <laughs> Kinda. Sophisticated version of We're Rich. Uh, we seem to have increased our net worth substantially. Exactly. I got your background. Thanks, Nova. Always appreciate it. Magic bullets, my beloved. <laughs> Magic bullets is great. I love it. All right. And then we move on to our, what was supposed to be fifth and final loadout, which is probably still gonna have to be our fifth and final loadout, but <laughs> uh, fifth and final strong loadout for Gunner. Of course, there's a lot more. And like I said, I will be doing this in like multiple parts if I can keep thinking of at least five strong builds. Next one. Well, any guesses for anybody? We've done Burning Hell and Volatile Bullets, Neurotoxin and Mole, Overtuned Feed Mechanism and Lead Spray, and a little more oomph and magic bullets. There's still one more. I do gotta head out though. I have to go to work. Take care everybody. Rock and stone. Rock and stone Nova. Have a great day at work. Wormholes on me. Ah, okay. Wormholes. Let's head out. Ooh, that's nice. Rock and stone yeah. forever. What just happened? Let me guess something with triple tech chamber. Yeah, I did say that one. So you have that right. Triple tech chamber. What's the primary? Primary is gonna be auto cannon. I've already done one, so there's only five other options. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna get used to this. Rock on, Mike! Combat mobility? I did think about combat mobility, but I think I was going to put that on the five more fun overclocks or five fun builds. That one's still really strong, but. Yeah, triple tech. Built for the damage increase. Big Bertha Auto Cannon? It's not Big Bertha. It's not Carpet Bomber. There's only two more it could be. <laughs> Those ones are great too. Again, any of them could have worked with the auto cannon, but the one that I chose was splintering shells, and then going for more of an AOE build. Splintering shells, yep, splintering shells. Eh, let's do another oil mission. I knew it. <laughs> what mini gun skin is that? The minigun skin that I had on? That was a builder with uh, Roughneck. Yeah, builder from this month's, um, or I guess not this month, this season's terminal. And then the Roughneck DLC. It looks pretty good by itself, though, without any skin on it. I do like the blue and gold. But I like the orange and black a lot, too. <laughs> or orange and... I guess I'd say that's kind of black. Kind of dark gray. I like it a lot on the auto cannon too. Looks fantastic with neon band. Rock and stone, rock and stone. Uh, is it Patricio? I hope I'm saying that right. That's clean, wow, yeah. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Just from in here with the cosmetics. I don't know where the minigun is. Okay, minigun's not too like far down. Tomorrow. Yeah, if you want the auto cannon, it's pretty far down. Come on, you lazy bastards. Same We've goes with some of these, like the coil gun or the. Yeah. I think any of the new secondaries. Oh, I didn't drink that. Oh wait, we don't really need to. To rock and stone. <laughs> Raging wreck. I need Magnite. All right. Drop sequence initiated. There's scout promotion. That's time for the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this makes sense. Kind of like high burst damage uh, with triple tech and AOE with splintering shells. Mm -hmm. That was kind of what I was going with. 
Yeah, because I wrote down five strong builds for each of the classes, and then once I did, I was like, there's more than five strong builds. So I'm probably going to do this in at least like three parts. I'm going to do one strong build for each of them, one fun build, or at least like five strong builds, five um, fun builds for each class, and then five probably also strong builds for them. What's the best gunner weapon? Depends what you want. What are you trying to accomplish with it? Also, I'm kind of drunk. Oh, no, never mind then. <laughs> oh. oh, there's two of them. Alright, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Personally, I run combat mobility and trip attack. That way you can lure bugs into the trail and shred the horde simultaneously. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, and some of them I was like, this is a strong build, but it's also a fun build, and I kind of want to save it for like the fun build video that I have planned. I was born ready. It's like bullet hell and magic bullets can be strong. You can run through ammo with it quick, but it's super fun. So, like, that one's definitely going on the fun build one. <laughs> yeah, combat mobility will probably go on there, and... I mean, I could do triple tech with that, because then you can go full tank gunner, too. And full tank gunner's pretty fun. Uh, not cave leech cluster, but... And I'm gonna have to do something with six shooter too, because six shooter's full fun and good. Dang it. What? And kill this leech. Oh, thank you. Zip line done. Oh. Dang it. Yeah. I'm also probably gonna do the full ammo build in the fun one. I have the Senator Armstrong Leech mod, so I hear his voice. <laughs> Just hear Nano Machine Son yell that across the map. It burns, it burns. My food, my food. How's it going? Pretty good, D Smith. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah. Stream got fixed. Yeah, stream got fixed. Well, as my internet went out for a little bit, so. Missions to go, and I'm done with my assignment. Nice. Good to hear. I'm still a little bit drunk. <laughs> yeah. Thought I was getting pretty sober, but nah. Done, done. There they are. Praetorians attacking. 
Praetorians attacking. As we just found out the other day, too, you can't have Praetorians spawn as a solo. At least in a swarm like this for some reason. I don't know why. Doesn't really make sense to me. Team. Yep, triple tag. Triple tag plus splintering shells. I think that this one is quite a strong loadout that fits quite well. But now I'm out of shots with it, so I need to resupply. <laughs> is there a limit to how many missions? Pipelines and pump jacks built. We're ready to start extracting the liquid morkite. Return to the refinery okay. and start up the pump sequence. Getting more ammo. Resupply yeah, I'm ready. Supplies are on the way. The liquid morkite is being extracted. Refinery and all pump jacks are working at full capacity. Be warned, the noise will draw in the locals. Yeah, I'm not seeing any like. You can to protect and maintain the equipment. <laughs> Keep on fighting. More bugs coming your way. I'm seeing any fossils here? Oh, that's fire. <laughs> Grabbing every one of these. 
magical deck is really good because it allows you to apply a ton of damage trails. Uh, yeah, that is true. It's also really good because it's bugged, or at least I think it might be bugged. Maybe it's another feature where you can have permanent damage reduction on yourself. Which I think also stacks with the bug disconnection protection. So even if you just hop off a zipline like that, the next fall damage you take should be reduced by like 75%. Unless it's a... Unless it's by a bit more than that. I think it's 75% because I think it's 50% and 50% and I think that they're percentages of one another. I don't think they're added. I also don't know if it stacks on top of the uh, damage reduction from the auto cannon. Potentially. And if so, then you can maybe get up to something like 80% damage reduction. Oh. Okay. Void lobbies that have toxic titles, like don't do blank or get kicked. Uh, and you won't run into any of those people. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, I missed the first part of that. Yeah, I haven't really ran into anybody like that, and I wasn't... Uh, I didn't really see a whole lot of lobbies the last time. I was just, like, hopping into other people's lobbies. And had stuff like that on there. Take him out, Steve. Of missions one one to play with you. I feel kind of bad when I do more than one mission with you and offer other people to join. Now it's first come first serve. You can stay as long as you like. I mean, if my connection drops or if you get kicked for whatever reason, then other people can hop in. Because uh, I don't really want to be like micromanaging the the stream all the time if people just want to hop in and play. Most of the time, these streams are just for, well, me to hang out and get to talk to you guys, which I really enjoy. Or play, like, a new game that probably wouldn't do great as, like, a Let's Play or anything on the channel. Or to, like, just do, like, a challenge or something just for the time's sake. So, I just kind of want to keep them chill. Weapons are great, depends on your playstyle and what you're facing on the mission, but I love the Red Storm plus Bulldog, it's my favorite days. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with just saying if one is best or something. If it was just what is the strongest loadout or something, I could probably give you an idea of what that might be. But even then it would change from mission to mission. If you want a lot of single target damage and range, the minigun is great. Oh. And if you want like a lot of AOE damage, maybe you don't care about accuracy so much, the auto cannon is a great option. You also are super ammo efficient. Takes you a long time to run out of bolts with this thing. And then the hurricane is a good mix between the two where you still have long range and it's probably the most flexible since it kind of works at just about every job. But then when you know when you start throwing in overclocks into the mix, things kind of change up a little bit as to what you want. Because all the weapons have great overclocks too, or really fun overclocks, or a combination of both. Well done. Cargo rocket is returning to orbit. We're sending in the drop pod to get you out. Because I mean, this is going to be footage for five strong over, well, five strong builds. And each of these I've got what do we got? We've gotten two coil guns, two revolvers, one burst pistol, and then two mini guns, two uh, auto cannons, and one hurricane. I plan on doing them kind of evenly if I do another video, where it'd be like up to ten. Weapon ready. Drop pod to 
Copy in T-minus three minutes. Scout can become immune to all fall damage when he stacks Tunnel Rat on his armor fall resist and either grabs... Yeah, that's true. I used to hate the first pistol, but ever since I discovered experimental rounds, I love it. Experimental rounds is really good. It's a nice... Uh, it's a nice addition to it. Even though you lose out on ammo, you get that like big boost in damage. And you're not losing out on accuracy or something. So it's still pretty good at long range. Yeah, the only uh, burst pistol overclock I'm not a huge fan of is like this one, which isn't even that bad. It's still a bonus, but it's not one of my favorites where you get a small damage boost of one point of damage and a small reload speed increase by 0.2. And you already have two other damage overclocks with lead spray giving you like 10 damage or something like that. I think it's like 10. And then experimental give. Well, I don't actually remember. Let's see. How much damage is it? Gives you 9 from Experimental, and Lead Spray is 11. Okay. But at least Experimental kind of has a trade-off of ammo size and mag size, to where you still have accuracy. I think all the rest are quite good, though. Rock and stone. Yes, Rock and Stone. Artificial gravity has been reestablished. We fight. <laughs> Oh, were they trying to get outside? Maybe, maybe they did get outside. Uh, oh, yep, they did. <laughs> yeah. Did I hear a walking stone? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, let me wiggle out. I don't think I can right here. Now without the aid of the low gravity. Oh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Hurricane is pretty much high accuracy auto cannon. Yeah, but you run through ammo faster with it. It does have good long effective range though. Thank you for the follow, uh, less sleeves. I appreciate that. And now an omen event, but I got no blanks. Ah. Aaron, what would happen? Or what happened? Why did the last stream go blank? My internet went out for like two minutes, Zach. So yeah, couldn't uh, couldn't really stream with no internet, and then just had to restart it. There's no strongest loadout. Cryo plus EPC is best loadout for bugs, uh, but try to use it against robots. Yeah, it's kind of like Cryo plus uh, Wave Cooker too is amazing against crowds of bugs. Not so strong against robots, but <laughs> it depends on what you're going for. Jeez. Uh, yeah, that'll have to be my last game for today, at least of uh, Deep Rock. Hi there, what's the loadout you're playing? Uh, loadout I was playing was Splintering Shells plus Triple Deck Chamber. It's a really strong one. <laughs> How do we join if you if you don't have a Discord? Well, I mean, you can send me a friend request on Steam, or you can join through the server list, or you can join our Discord. There's a link in the description. It's open for everybody. So feel free to hop in if you'd like to. First pistol micro full shots is so good. Yeah, I really like it with the stun. The stun, it's quite strong, especially since it has like no recoil. I just started playing DRG. I love it. Me and my buddies had the bug turn a whole room into gold uh, with the golden brew too. It was nuts. Oh yeah, the crasses. Or do you mean golden bugs on the bugs? 
Because if you can, try to look for um, golden bugs as the mutator. I don't know if I have it on any of these. And also look for like swarm again. If you can find those two together, okay. So like look for the dollar sign. And oh yeah, there it was. This one of swarm again. This just makes it so there's a whole bunch of little things. And you get gold from all of them. Which is really nice. For rock and stone. Favorite dreadnought? Um, maybe the twins? I don't know. All the dreadnoughts are pretty cool. What's up? Got minimal clips for the M1000 yesterday? Ah, oh, awesome. The uh, minimal clips is really good. I feel like it's one of the underrated <laughs> uh, overclocks for the M1000. It's actually like really solid, especially if you like focus shots. It was a big boss that we killed. Exploded everything. Oh yeah, Crassus detonator then. Yeah, those guys are rare. They only show up every once in a while. A uh, helpful trick for getting more or to get gold faster out of them rather than mining all of it. Uh, if you're playing Driller, you can use your C4 to blow it up. Or if you have thin containment filled on the EPC, but that's a more difficult thing to do. Aaron is deep rock cross platform. It is not, Vincent. It is only... Uh, it's technically cross platform between Microsoft, so PC on Microsoft Store and uh, the Xbox. Everything else, not so much. I guess technically between um, Stream Deck and Stream. Or Steam as well. Steam Deck and Steam. <laughs> Thought it's strong. Uh, I found it stronger than Hipster somehow. It is pretty strong. I don't know if I'd say it's stronger than Hipster. Hipster's pretty ridiculous. But it is really good. I didn't realize you stream on Twitch until now. Uh, I've been looking at your YouTube for a couple of years for KF2 things. And refound you again for DRG recently. Oh, welcome. Welcome back. I'll also be streaming Killing Floor 2 later today in about an hour and a half. But yeah, I stream on Twitch and I stream on YouTube and over on Facebook. Still got to set that up actually in the description because that got kind of weird and changed around. Uh, I imagine swarm of golden loot bugs and pots of gold. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> well, you can only get loot bugs as they spawn. It's similar to Crassus. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Tilty? Or Tilly, sorry. Keep it up. Oh, well, thank you. Appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I really do appreciate it. Um, hipster's fun, but focus shots blow through rounds completely demolishes crowds with the 18 rounds. Yeah, you get nine focus shots, which is really good. That's what I really like it. I got the description of pair character lifting up weights saying keep it up. <laughs> Why does that pop up in the... <laughs> it's just a description of it. Alright, well, whatever. Thanks everybody for being here today. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll be streaming again in about an hour and a half. I'm going to be doing some Killing Floor 2, Open Lobby, Hell on Earth. Uh, again, anybody can hop in if you'd like to. Doesn't matter how good you are, how, how long you've been playing, anything like that. And uh, hopefully I can get the Deep Rock video I have planned going up for today. May not have videos up tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, might be doing another live stream tomorrow too because I do have the rest of my uh, new computer parts coming. So I might be putting that together on stream. That might be pretty fun. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how everything kind of sets up right here because this is realistically about the amount of space that I really got. Uh, I really need help with the silver trophy on PlayStation 4 where you have to do hazard five missions from start to finish without a resupply. Oh yeah, that one can be kind of rough. Easiest way to do it is play scout, go to a uh, on-site refinery mission and just have Bosco make sure he's got the uh, faster digging. Be sure to take heightened senses as a perk just so that you don't get grabbed uh, by leeches because that can end that run and just have Bosco do all of that. Only focus on the main objective and then just leave as fast as possible. Take whatever you like as like a primary and a secondary. They should all work just fine. Rock and stone, rock and stone, everybody. All right, you guys take care. And uh, see you later. Bye-bye.